Hi everyone, this is Sumer from Tulip here and today I'm going to be walking you through a new 5S checklist application. The 5S checklist application essentially enables you to conduct an audit and gather data and analyze data about the various 5S categories which are sort, set in order, shine, standardize and sustain. This application allows you to, con to conduct 25 individual checks and rate these checks on a scale of 1 to 5 based on how well you're performing on these checks and then give you a total score across all these different categories. The workflow for this app is pretty simple, so as we dive into the app, what we see is that we see all the locations and we essentially get to select a location and once we select a location, we decide to start a new audit. So just going to walk you through an initial audit, go through a couple steps. What we see is that we also have a create follow up action button if there's something that needs to be followed up upon. So let's say that I need to create a follow up action out here. I decide to go out here and describe the non-conformance and say that broken issue broken issue and a log event and this will actually log in a non-conformed event. And as I go through this application, what I see is that I keep giving these values which will then be populated in our dashboard, which will essentially allow us to see how we are performing, what are our leaders, and what are potential areas for improvement. So I'm just going to go ahead and complete this audit so that I can show you a dashboard after. And just in the last couple of questions right now. Uh, going to the dashboard, we have various different average scores that are tracked. So we can see our average score for sort, average score for standardized, and essentially the average score for each S category. And we're also able to see our leaderboard, which shows all our locations and what the average score for each of these locations are. And this application essentially allows you to track data on various different important categories and allows you to identify areas for improvement. So thank you for following, uh, following up and listening to our video today. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. And once again, thanks for your time.